What's up YouTube, it's me Chris and I've got another great video for you. As you can see, we have a controller on the table. No applause, please, no applause. Uh, but in this video, we're gonna be looking at another product from Control Freak and I think you might like it. So without further ado, let's get right to it. I've got my PlayStation 4 controller here on the table and I haven't used it in a while. I haven't even been gaming that much lately. Shame on me. But this is the one that I've modded and this one does have the ability to add trigger stops. Um, does have the uh, buttons in the back which I absolutely love and it's got the white front on it and it's got the custom buttons that I've made from another controller that are raised up and slightly angled in and these are nice, very nice to play with. Nice response, really like this controller. And right up front, I've got one control freak on that I use and really like this particular setup. Uh, works very well for me. But I came across something on their website the other day while I was in church, believe it or not. And I know I shouldn't be on my phone during church, but whatever, I'm sorry. And I've already asked for forgiveness. But <laughs> uh, I came across something on their website that I thought was really cool. And it was the first time in a while that I came come across a new product that I felt like I must have. So uh, I went ahead and made the purchase and hopefully I'll be happy that I did. Uh, just picked this up out of the mailbox. Don't know what to expect. Super duper excited here. And I think it's gonna be a great, great purchase. Dun, 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 drum roll please. And I give you the new Control Freak grips. and. This is something that I was wondering why, why it hadn't come out before now, because frankly, um, I have been wanting something because I felt that was a real weakness of the PS4 controller, that this front top portion was really slick and you know, sometimes it could get uncomfortable. So I needed something to go there and I was actually gonna mod something up eventually, but don't need to because Control Freak came to the rescue. And as you can see here, it says it control, uh, control is everything. And that's absolutely right. So this is comfortable, high grip material, oil, water, and grime resistant, and wicks away moisture. Super duper nice. And as you can see how it goes on, it just really wraps itself right around the actual gripping surface for the controller and should make it a lot more comfortable. As it says here, if I tear this open, I can expose the instructions and everything is nice like breakaway pants, pull it down and it should be pretty straight away uh, for me to actually go in here and install this particular set of grips. Uh, my controller for the most part is on fleek, so <laughs> looks like everything is nice and clean at least on the grip area surface. So I can go ahead and go forward with the actual install. Uh, the control freak should be face down but look at the material here. This is nice quality stuff, guys. Looks amazing. Absolutely dig this. I'll apply one side, because I want to do this off camera. Don't want to waste your time. And then I will come back and show you the other side live. Yes, live. So stand by. All right, guys, so I've applied one side of the grip and I'm impressed. I mean, I, I love the way this feels. I can't even lie to you guys. It feels great. Um, I do wish it was a full extension all the way down um, and it's not. So that's a bit of a bummer. Maybe they'll do some of those later on in the future, but the adhesive is super duper tacky and I'm just feeling around it to make sure that it's all the way on. Um, there is one issue for those of you that say have like a scuff mod or a scuff controller you are gonna have to maybe account, especially if you've done something on these shoulders for that button. And what I did to account for that button is I went in and I used a hole punch and I just punched out an ever so slight little hole right there so that I can, if you listen here, you can still hear that that button works just fine. So I've still got full control and I really like this, feels great. So now on camera, as I promised, I'm going to apply the second side. This adhesive is a B-Watch, so be prepared for that. And just take your time as you apply this and go around it. Promise is, is not as bad. Uh, and your, you know, mileage may vary. It looks almost like a Batman sign, doesn't it? <laughs> In a weird way. <laughs> but uh, your mileage may vary, but it's, it's not bad at all. But the main thing you want to do is line up this corner here and let me tilt it down so you can see as I'm working because that kind of makes sense. 
You want to line that corner up? I can hardly get my fingers in and out. This is nuts. But once you get that base lined up, you are at a point where you can get ready to start mashing it down. And it's just making sure the alignment is correct. That's the main thing that you want to do. Um, once you have the alignment about right, you can start to smooth out any spots that are not doing what they're supposed to do because I want it to look very similar. Now I'm going to go up the side on my controller and now I'm just going to smooth everything out and for the price and I'll post the price on the screen. This is pretty freaking cool. Um, totally feels, it changes the way the controller feels. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Um, I wanna say these were like 12 bucks, worth every penny in my opinion. Um, the grip that I get on the front of the controller now is great and I don't feel any slip. It doesn't feel uncomfortable at any point. Very nice. That's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if there's any kind of video that you want to see. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. I'm out of here.